Mullets are all the rage, but are they really the best of both worlds? My name is Danica Fife and welcome to my channel Fife and Flow. I have been pretty mullet curious lately, especially with some of my friends having the specialized status and loving it. Because of this, I decided to mullet my Fazari LaSalle Peak. The Fazari LaSalle Peak is a 29er and I'm gonna convert it to a 27.5 wheel in the rear. I thought this would be a great experiment because I've been riding a Fazari LaSalle Peak for around two years. And so I'm pretty familiar with my bike and it would be a good thing to compare to. Thankfully, my bike was pretty easily converted to a mullet. I just had to flip the geo chip and then put the 27.5 wheel on the rear. Because I'm pretty familiar with my bike and I'm really only changing the flip chip and the rear wheel, I think that I'll be able to have a good feeling for what molding your bike actually does for you. Okay, let's see what putting a smaller wheel in the rear really does what everyone is saying. I decided to take my bike out to Galbraith Mountain, which is my favorite local hill. In my opinion, I feel that Galbraith is most known for its jumps, but you definitely can find some rooty bits every now and then. Woo! After a few weeks of riding my freshly molded steed, I don't know if you really want to hear this, but I couldn't tell that much of a difference. However, I'm gonna continue to have my LaSalle Peak molded and I'm gonna tell you why. Right off the bat, the bike was very natural and easy to ride. I would say it felt pretty similar to when I had 29ers front and rear. I could tell a slight difference when cornering. I wouldn't say it was better or worse, but it definitely was different. You. The biggest pro for me was the extra clearance. I'm about 5'6", and I've ridden 29ers most of my biking life, and it's just that much better to have a little bit more room so you don't buzz your butt. No more butt buzz. In this mullet experiment, I didn't really feel like I had any negative aspects to it. I do distinctly remember hitting my pedal once on a climb, but out of two weeks of riding, I don't think that's really a con. However, you should take in consideration that molding your bike might not be as straightforward. Overall, I wasn't blown out of the water with the mullet experiment. However, I am content and I'm gonna keep it mulleted. I also find it really fun that bike companies are coming out with mulleted versions. I think it's a fun idea. I just don't think it's gonna be the change all thing that's coming to the bike world. But who knows, maybe I'll eat my words soon. Enough about me and my opinions. I would love to hear your thoughts on mulleted bikes in the comments below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell. Now I hope you go and find some flow. Yeah.